G'day, I'm Ted Jednak, facilitator and creator of the internationally acclaimed and accredited foot mobilisation workshops, published author and founder and director of the Foot and Leg Centres in Australia. I help health practitioners just like you master new treatment options so that you can have the best tools for better clinical outcomes. It's all about giving you effective tools that fix the problems you see in your clinic every single day. I've just come from a consultation with Nancy, a client who, not long ago, was tripping, kicked off and troubled. That's how she described it. Nancy had a few things going on with her feet, which weren't actually painful, but they were having tremendous repercussions on the rest of her body. Let me introduce you to Nancy so she can tell you her story in her own words. This is really worth listening to because you'll hear how Nancy's life was being affected, uh, the frustrations she had with other practitioners, and what she wanted to achieve and what she wanted to avoid in terms of her own health. Now, tell us, how is it that you heard about the Foot and Leg Centre? How did you end up coming here in the first place? It was a friend, well, she still is a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and she was already coming to you. Okay. And I was saying to her how that I'm having these falls, and that my GP sent me off to specialist, orthopaedic, is it orthopaedic specialist no, it would yep, have been? Probably, yes. yes. And after, you know, testing everything, yes, well, if the falls keep up, to stabilise the ankles, yes. you're going to have to be looking at calipers. Ooh. Well, what female, <laughs> let alone male, but what female wants to wear calipers? Mm -hmm. And I was saying to this friend about it, and she said, oh, she said, why don't you give foot and leg centre a go? She said, they might be able to help. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I can walk. Yes. It's just done for four, you know. Yes. And I came and saw you on Tito. So the falls stopped, the ankles were great, and I was walking better. And I think I even mentioned to Tito at one stage that back then even I'd be driving, and I used to drive out to Gora a lot, yes. and I wouldn't be able to hold my head because I'd get this pain in my neck. Oh, OK. Yeah. And after coming to the foot and leg centre, because as you rightfully so said in one of your many talks, is that it virtually stabilises right the way through. Mm -hmm. And... I was driving without this pain in the neck and I thought, this is quick, well not queer, but yeah. And as one of your questions were in the email that you sent me, was I sceptical? Yes. Mm -hmm. You better believe it. Okay, tell me, <laughs> yeah, can you elaborate <laughs> on that? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, as, as you know, I mean, my toes are still, which was obviously hereditary, you know. And you and poor Tito, I mean, he'd try and he'd try and I used to think, he's not going anywhere, <laughs> you know. Um, and I used to think, oh, really? And of course the cost, you know, I was thinking, oh, this money, you know, what I could do with that money. Because <laughs> I, I think I'm half Scottish and half Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> but but as, as the visits here, which I think initially was two, at least two times a week, mm -hmm. and the exercises and everything that just started to write in itself, as I've said to a lot of people, it was money worthwhile spent. Now, interestingly, Nancy presented with a rigid cavus foot pattern. Using weight-bearing plain film x-rays to measure the relationships between key bones, we determined which connective tissues needed to be released to restore optimum function. Because initially, um, I was sent off for the x-rays to find out what alignment mm -hmm. the bones were in. And, the, and of course, you, you, you explained to me, it wasn't Tito, it was you explained to me, and you showed me on the x-ray how that it should be like this, mm -hmm. but it was, you know, at all different angles. Yes. And then after the manipulations and the exercises, mm -hmm. another set of x-rays mm -hmm. in comparison. And, oh, look at that. <laughs> Instead of them doing perhaps a, a right-hand kinky turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, good. They good. came the right way. Uh, yes, so I do remember that. Good, excellent. Yes. Um, so what exactly did we do to help Nancy? Well, we had three key etiological factors to take care of. One, the joint positions in her unique cavus foot pattern. Two, the proprioceptive compensations that contributed to her instability, which led to falls. And three, the connective tissue restrictions that had developed. They were limiting normal and optimum joint function. So, to address each of these factors, we developed a treatment plan that improved each of the causative elements. Let me uh, break them down for you. First, joint positions. 
The displacements in the foot bones that we identified on x-ray need to be taken away from their end range position and moved closer to their optimum position. We used joint mobilization techniques and high velocity manipulations. The key tool we used here was drop piece technology because it enables us, the practitioners, to generate significant forces in a very safe and controlled manner, both for the practitioner and for the patient. Next, we addressed the proprioceptive compensations. We needed to restore Nancy's postural harmony. We needed to get the mechanoreceptors in Nancy's feet and ankles to talk more clearly to her brain so that her brain could coordinate the muscle messages. This was achieved by using an impactor. It's an instrument that wakes up the nerves uh, and their inefficient habits. Then we prescribed some simple but important exercises to keep her mechanoreceptors talking accurately to her brain. Balancing exercises are ideal for this job. These steps were essential to improve Nancy's balance and stability. Now we know how many elderly people suffer from poor balance and falls, don't we? Well that's why an impactor or an activator is an essential tool that I'd never work without. The third crucial step to address was the connective tissue restrictions. Now you can use your thumbs or your hands to get into uh, tough collagenous tissues of the foot and the ankle, but heck, it's only going to be a matter of time before you wear yourself out. Just ask any physio or remedial therapist with more than 10 years experience. And that's why we use the tool assisted massage methods. Now a tool like this it identifies where the um, fascial restrictions are located specifically. And you can use this cool tool to break down those restrictions with minimal effort on your own hands. When you've got uh, cavus feet like Nancy's, well, you're going to need all the help you can get. Now, as great as Nancy's result was, it wasn't always smooth sailing. <laughs> Let me uh, read what she wrote. Uh, earlier on this year, yet again I had problems in my left foot and knee. The pain, was, uh, in both, the pain in both was making it painful for the smallest amount of walking. Back again to the foot and leg centre, where yet again, after treatment and torture, <laughs> another set of exercises, pain's now gone and able to walk pain free. In more ways than one, I thank Ted for enabling me to be able to do what we all enjoy and take for granted, and that is to be able to walk pain-free, and uh, should another time pain reoccur, I won't hesitate to pester Ted again. Once again, a big thank you. The great news is it took just three weeks of treatment using the drop piece table, the activator, and some tool-assisted release to uh, get Nancy back on track. We've also got Nancy doing her own tool-assisted massage using the dowel on a daily basis. You know, when I reflect on my university studies, just about none of what I do today was what I learned back then. In fact, new graduates today still don't learn any of this stuff, yet. And that's why I want you to be able to use these tools, because otherwise, patients like Nancy will end up in calipers or surgically fused when they just don't have to. It'd be a crime if Nancy had gone down that path. So, what we've learned from Nancy is this. One, musculoskeletal conditions of the lower limb benefit beautifully from a combination of tool-based treatment options, especially cavus feet like Nancy's. Two, evaluating joint relationships is crucial in developing effective biomechanical treatment plans. Three, mobilization manipulation is easier on you if you use drop piece technology. Four, proprioceptive stimulating instruments like the uh, activator play a big role in improving balance and stability, particularly for the elderly. And five tool assisted release techniques work wonders for you and your patients. I trust this blog has been useful and uh, you now have more insights in how you can help more people. Thanks for watching and keeping open, an open mind. Hey, look, if you're on YouBook or FaceTube, please hit the like button if you found this blog useful. If you think a colleague would benefit from hearing this stuff, please share it with them because it means that they'll be able to consider more options for their patients with problems just like Nancy's. Until next time, serve with spirit, consult with care, and get tooled up today.